Hi everyone, it's Lucy. Today we're going to talk about the TOEFL listening test and specifically we're going to look at conversation skill one, purpose. So in this lesson first I'm going to describe the task, then we're going to look at the method, and finally you're going to do some practice on your own. So in this lesson you're going to understand exactly how to complete the listening purpose type question. Okay, so first of all, what exactly is involved in this particular task? So let's take a look. You need to identify the purpose of a conversation, and by purpose I mean why did this conversation happen? Now remember that during the listening section they're going to have some extra information, some extra details to try to trick you, to try to mislead you. So it's very important that you pay close attention to the conversation and take careful notes. Okay, so let's look at our method. Now, our first step is to listen to the audio and take notes. Now, remember, when you're taking notes during any sort of audio, you don't have time to write full sentences or to write down exactly what the speaker said word for word. Instead, you want to keep track of key words, key ideas, not full sentences. Okay, fantastic. So if you don't already, make sure you have a pen and some paper ready, and we're going to listen to the audio. Okay, are you ready? Here is the audio. Next, please. Um, hi, my name is Mark. I was sent here by the Student Advisory Office. Okay, can I see your ID, please? Sure, here it is. Okay, Mark, our system is showing that you've been late on your student loan repayments. Well, I'm actually here because I'd like to change dorms. My current one is too expensive, and with paying my student loan, I just can't afford it, which is why I've been late on my payments. So instead of a single dorm, I'd like to apply for a shared one to save money. Okay, that's a good idea. The rent will be cheaper and you'll be able to use that towards your loan. But there is a waiting list. I can put you down as urgent and that'll expedite the wait. Okay, how long will that be? With the urgent requests, it might not be for another two months. I see. Nothing sooner? Unfortunately, that's the best I can do. Okay, thanks. Okay. How did you go? Do you feel like your notes are a good approximation of what was said? Okay, so now we're going to look at our own sample notes. Let's take a look here. So we have some key ideas here. So student loans, late payments, change dorms, and can't afford current dorm due to late loan payments. Okay, so as you can see, these notes are not full sentences. They're not very long, just a few key words and key ideas. Okay, our next step here is to read the question. Now, during the TOEFL listening, remember you're going to listen to the audio before you see the question. So that is why your note-taking skills are so important. If you don't feel confident in your note-taking skills, it's a skill that you really need to work on. So take some time in your own time to practice those note-taking skills. Okay, so now, as I said, let's read the question. Here is the question. So why did the student visit the registrar's office? Was it A, to request a new dorm room, B, to apply for a student loan, C, to apply for an extension on her student loan repayment, or D, to apply for a student ID? All right, now our next step. You need to refer to your notes to find out what the student wanted. As we said, this is the purpose of the conversation. Why? Did they have this conversation? Again, let's bring up the question plus our own notes, and we can compare our notes against the question. Now our next step is to eliminate any incorrect answer options, okay? Remember, they like to include a few extra details, a few other things to throw you off of the main idea but it's important that you pay careful attention to the main purpose of the conversation. So again, let's take a look at the question and our notes, and I want you to try to eliminate any options that are clearly wrong. Okay, finally, our next step is to choose the answer. And again, you want to choose the one that best matches what the conversation was mainly about. Okay, so what answer do you think is correct? Well, the answer is A, to request a new dorm room. 
Okay, hopefully that wasn't too bad, but now it's time for you to do your own practice. Now, if you don't already, make sure you have a pen and some paper ready. And remember that first, we're going to listen and take notes. Okay, are you ready? Here is your practice conversation. Hello, Professor. I made an appointment to see you today. Yes, Melinda, you're right on time. Come in. Are you here about tomorrow's test? Yes, I've been going through our list of reading assignments, and there's just one point that I'm really stuck on, and I was hoping I could go over it with you. Of course. What, what do you need help with? Well, I've been reviewing the main marketing concepts you discussed in class, and I'm still confused on the difference between market segmentation and target marketing. I see. Well, let's try to narrow down where you're lost. Okay. You said that market segmentation is dividing customers into groups based on characteristics, and that target marketing is also based on market segmentation, and I'm not exactly sure of the difference between the two. Well, market segmentation is the first step in a marketing strategy. It's the division of customer groups into categories, and target marketing is then marketing to those specific groups based on their characteristics. Sorry, I don't understand. Okay, let's separate the concepts and go over them one by one. Okay, how do you feel about your notes? Do you think that they accurately capture the main idea of the conversation? Well, now it's time for you to look at the question. And remember, when you look at the question, take a moment to eliminate any options that are obviously incorrect. Compare your notes to the question in order to make the best choice. Okay, here is the question. Okay, and what do you think? Are you confident in your answer? All right, I'll give you the answer in just a moment. And here is our answer. D, to distinguish between two different concepts. So, how did you go? Were you able to answer it correctly? Hopefully, using your notes and paying careful attention to the conversation, you were able to do it. Um, anyway, thank you for watching, guys, and remember, if you have any questions or any concerns, don't be afraid to visit our website at e2language.com. Great, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!